Hey everybody, Quentin here. Uh, nice to actually see you. I wanted to actually address um, a slight issue that I'm actually getting and I see more and more coming with actually new members joining the community, which is great. Um, but I'm actually spending a lot of time explaining a very, uh, and I would say simple concept. That's actually the reason why I say simple, because after this video, it's going to be actually more simpler for you to understand. So as you see here, I have actually a scenario currently that I'm actually working on, and I have operation fail with an error 403 invalid permission. This is actually the error we are facing a lot on the co-build and I see on the support call, hence why I'm hoping that this video will actually be helpful for you to understand what is happening in the background. When you see an error 403, permission invalid, that means that you are ultimately speaking not mapping the right table. And I'm going to show you what I meant by this. If I'm opening this module here, you will tell me, Quentin, <coughs> my base is called actually SEO article writer. The table is article generators. This is exactly what I have here. I have actually the base over there the, and the article generators. For you, it's supposed to work. The fact that you're getting a 403, it's actually the reason for that is because you haven't mapped your base and your table properly. For you to have a deeper understanding, I'm going to bring uh, my Sublime Text Editor and I'm going to open the, the Johnson, so the blueprint itself, so then you can understand. The limitation is actually happening on make, uh, where make, basically, if you see here, art code the value of the base, right? So, and I'm going to explain that in a minute. But if you, if you, if you see here, I'm updating the record, and I'm passing this information into the base called, this is the base, and I'm actually going to look into the table. So remember this, GOQ, okay? This is at the end. Again, I'm going to show you here on the uh, Airtable itself. I have the same, so the name match, the, uh, the table match. However, I'm still getting an invalid permission, right? For you to understand the, the, the principle, you need to understand how Airtable link worked. If you see the first variable or the first ID, this is an ID, right? So I double click on this, so I double click here, that's I like the whole ID. The ID finished by OGX, okay? This is currently what I have on, this, on the art coded value. I have GOQ. This is the reason why you have actually an invalid permission because you are currently trying to access a base that is not within your workspace or within your own Airtable account. All you have to do is you have to go here. So again, if I'm trying to run this, uh, just for you to understand it, it's actually live. If I run this module once, I have actually, I'm missing the, uh, the ID. Give me a, a minute. Um, can I not run this uh, over there? Oh, that's an update record. Okay, fair enough. Um, I, still have, I still have the error, 43 invalid permission. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna potentially uh, do this. What you have to do, you have to open the module and you have to search, this is extremely important, you have to search your base. You will tell me, you might potentially, if you only have one base on your system, you will see actually the name of your base as, as it is here. But if I scroll down, you will see I have actually uh, the, the base, I have actually the base called SEO article, I need to search. SEO article writers. This is my base down below, not the one at the top. This is the base over here. I have it like somewhere here, uh, SEO article writers. I need to click on this, right? And then you need to do the same for table. That's very, very important that you do for both. In this case, it says it's actually, it didn't work because I don't have the schema. The, the schema came from the table itself. You need to look into the table open the table, and you see this is exactly the point as well. It seems that you have selected the right article, the, the right table, in this case, wrong. You need to select the one below. So for example, my table is called article generators. I do not choose the first one because the first one come from the, from the art coded value on the Johnson itself. I need to go and click on article generators. Once I've done this, now I'm actually able to go ahead and click OK, and now, if I'm running actually again this uh, here, if I'm looking, linking this, and I'm going to pass this here, I'm going to put it over there, I'm doing this. Now, if I'm running this once, 
the system like it doesn't matter the automation i just want to show you that now i will actually be able to update the uh the air table because i've mapped it properly you see so now my air table is mapped within my own air table I hope this video has been informative. I really, really want you to master this concept. I'm losing a lot of time on our co-build, like a lot of valuable time on the co-build, just explaining the 403 permission. You now have a full video for you to watch, a very quick uh, video, six minutes in, and you should actually be able to master how to get your permission right with Airtable. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the co-build session.